Hey everyone, I am Babak Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss Selection Sort algorithm. We shall begin our session by introducing Selection Sort. Then, we will discuss Selection Sort algorithm. After that, we will implement Selection Sort algorithm in the code editor. Finally, we will sum up what we have learned from this session. Before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below. So you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get started with an introduction to Selection Sort. The Selection Sort algorithm is an in-place comparison-based method that divides the list into two halves, with the sorted portion on the left and the unsorted half on the right. Then the smallest element from the unsorted array is chosen and swapped with the leftmost element, and that element is added to the sorted array. Now, let's discuss the selection sort algorithm. Let's say we have an array. First, we will divide this array in two subarrays, unsorted array and sorted array. Then, we will divide the minimum element from the unsorted array and swap it with the leftmost element of this unsorted array. After that, we will add it to the unsorted array. We will keep repeating this process until there are no elements left on the unsorted array. We have now introduced selection sort and its algorithm. Now let's implement this algorithm in the code editor. We will start by creating a function swap. The argument will be integer pointer x, comma, integer pointer y. We will declare an element temp to store the value of pointer x then we will store pointer y's value in x then we will store temp's value in y and that's how we can swap them next we will write the definition of selection sort function void selection sort the argument will be int array arr comma int n we will declare variables int i j and a min underscore idx variable to store the minimum index now we will one by one move boundaries of unsorted subarrays so for loop i is equals to 0 where i is less than n minus 1 i plus plus we will find the minimum element in this unsorted array so min underscore idx is equals to i now for a is equals to i plus 1 j less than n j plus plus if array element at jth location is less than array at the min index then min idx will be updated with j now we will swap the found minimum element with the first element so we will call swap function with argument as ampersand arr at min idx comma ampersand arr at ith location 
Now we will write a function to print this array. So void print array argument as int arr and its size int n or loop int i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus p out arr at i out and else. now we will write the code for the main block so int arr is equals to 4 comma 2 comma 1 comma 8 comma 3 We will find the size of this array. So int n is equals to size of array arr divided by size of this array's first element. Now we will call selection sort function. Argument as arr comma n. Then we will try to print this so C out sorted array and we will call the function print array to so print this array arr comma n. Now let's try and execute this program. As you can see, we have successfully sorted this array using selection sort algorithm. Let's get back to our slides. At last, let's sum up what we have learned in this session. First up, the selection sort algorithm is a comparison based in place algorithm. Next, the selection sort algorithm is not appropriate for used data sets. Next up, selection sort have the worst complexity of big O of n square. Finally, it can be beneficial when memory write is an expensive procedure. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you liked this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any question, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.